Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one more time in the blue corner, representing 10th Planet in Redditch. An unbeaten record of one win and no losses. in the red corner representing Lions Gym making his amateur MMA debut this evening get on Shimon wow that was uh, some intensity there when these two guys come in the ring so we've got uh, we've got Luke Nile fighting in the blue corner out of uh, 10th Planet Redditch and he's taking on Garon Shima, who's in the uh, red corner, he's fighting out of Lions Gym in Coventry, but both these two coming into the cage. Yeah, wow. both guys pointing to the centre and basically saying, let's, see let's get in it. there, let's throw hands. And they're doing it, they're doing <laughs> it. Should we just sit back and watch? Oh no, we're going to call it. <laughs> so yeah, they're both basically pointing to that, that floor, Dustin Poirier style, or Max Holloway style, I should say. Uh, you know, let's just stand here and trade. And Absolutely, yeah. And that's what they're doing. We've seen Luke Nile before. Uh, he made his debut uh, at GTFP 13, and he's a real charismatic guy. There was uh, He had that Conor McGregor look about him then he does actually, yeah. and he still does, he still does now I mean uh, even with his posture I think he's even probably got the same tattoos yeah I think so yeah and he, he's a real charismatic guy but he has got the same tattoos he's got the same thing across the chest yeah but Gareth Shamar said in the build up to this that he thinks uh, he thinks Luke Nile is going to give up in the cage so there's obviously a bit of hostility between uh, between these two so I think that uh, Shima is the type that likes to talk before not he can fight as well but he likes to talk to get into his opponent's head and I think that's what he's doing and if Niall is a he's obviously a McGregor fan you can tell that by looking at him <laughs> uh, he obviously is going to follow the same so I think that's what we're getting here that's why they're so fired up coming into the cage and there Niall has got up against the cage and he's he's looking for that single leg is he looking yeah. for that high crotch you can uh, there we go, here we go. Him up. Good balance Great there, though, balance. By, uh, by Shima. Shima's quite tall, he's quite rangy, he's got long legs, and I think that helped him there. Absolutely, yeah, he, uh, he managed to get those uh, those toes, stretch those toes to the canvas and, and keep himself upright, but now I was looking to put that 10th uh, Planet Jiu-Jitsu work in and, uh, and get this fight to the mat in the first round. Yeah, you'd think with a name like 10th Planet, they're going to be looking at getting the, getting the fight down and working for those, those submissions. And, we know they're going to be well-rounded. We know Lions Gym's a well-rounded gym as well. I mean, we've already seen some great performances from them today. Yeah, definitely. And I was doing the right thing here, looking for that high crotch, because as you say, uh, Garam Shomar's a, a tall fighter for his weight class. It's going to be hard to get the double leg when he spreads those legs wide. I think I like uh, Shomar's striking. It reminds me a bit of Diaz, the way he's, he's in there with the throwing the punch. Lovely shot power, there. Power, but he's throwing to connect and just to keep twitching and just to give him something to think about. Oh, oh a nice little question mark was. kick. Yeah. He's got the legs for it though, hasn't he? Yeah, and a, and a nice overhand left from Nile who gets caught coming in. I think Nile needs to keep his hands up. I think he feel like his hands are a little bit low. Yeah, it's something we saw in the first fight. His hands are quite low he's when he throws it. those kicks and he, he keeps his chin in the air somewhat, but I mean, he, he, he took the shots and, uh, and won in the, uh, the third round of his debut. Yeah. But, uh, she but yeah. The tie clinch there but he had to be careful not to neat oh that was oh. a lovely right cross as well I love Shima's movement and that is wow another there that was yeah, beautiful his counter striking is fantastic you said earlier about how he uh, how he's in the pocket and in his face but for like the last minute or so he's kind of gone to more of a counter striking style and he's having some success with it so he's mixing it up nicely on the feet being the aggressor and then being the counter striker and by the time Mile comes back he's moved yeah and, he's landed some nice kicks he's really using that range as well isn't he he's using it for his kicks see what happens in this this round no point to the floor this time no <laughs> I love the feints from Shima he looks I mean I know this this is do you say it was his debut I mean this it's his debut it's yeah crazy I mean to see this kind of movement on his debut he looks very very confident he doesn't look like somebody who's making their amateur mixed martial arts debut at all super no. calm yeah nice and head again, movement there from Nala He's got, I tell you what, he really does have that McGregor stance, doesn't he? Yeah, he does, yeah. What I really like about Shima, though, is he's, he's just pouring out the jab, just yeah. to, just keeping it moving. You see that a lot from Alex Volkanovsky in the UFC. Yeah. He just keeps, it's something that they do at that gym, they just keep that jab hand moving just to always get the opponent thinking. And then, obviously, you can add some power to it. You can come behind it with the second, with the straight right. He's done quite well for Volkanovsky, hasn't he? He's had some, he's had some good wins. He certainly has, yeah. <laughs> I think... Um, I nice think struggling with the with the with the strikes. I think. 
Yeah, the Shima, range of, Shima looks the, the quicker fighter on the, yeah, of the two as the, well with his striking. I think the range as well is massive because he can keep out of. He goes just yeah, just away yeah, from the edge of those that's punches, right. isn't it? He? And he's missing. Paul, uh, he's Niall's throwing so many, but he's missing. He caught with a nice right hand there, though. Came over the top. Oh, oh nice another, shot! Another right cross there. Switching he's, stances he's nicely switching as well, isn't it? Yeah, his striking's mega impressive. Uh, and it, like so far with the takedown attempts, he's shown some really good balance. I he's, think the range is what's the big difference in this fight. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to set up a kick here. He keeps like switching between the two stances, and I think Niles did a good thing here in uh, in closing the distance and forcing it up against the fence, looking for the single leg. Yeah, I mean he's gone straight in. He's got the he's got the single leg. He's he lifts him off a little bit, but he's had not had much success with that. So. If, if it's me, I'm in that corner, I'm saying, yeah, they've just said it go for a double. The single's yeah, not working because of, of how long he is. Try something else. Yeah, he needs to also just incorporate a little bit of striking knees to the mid uh, midsection. Maybe just pepper Even him with a few. Legs, yeah. yeah, just, just pepper him with a few shots just to get him to think about what he's going to do next. Because at the moment, look, as we can see, he's purely focused on landing this single leg takedown, which, uh, which Shimar is defending very well so far. Shima looks completely comfortable defending that single leg. He doesn't look in trouble at all. There you go, he's let go of it now. Shima should have got off the cage then, really. He stood and threw some punches, but I think he could have circled off then. Yeah, he's got one overhook and uh, one underhook there, which is a good position to, uh, to turn this around if you can and put Niles back against the fence. Niles starting to throw some knees now to the in inside of the legs. Oh, I think we've the just lost shield. the mouth, yeah, yeah, the mouthpiece there. Uh, Shima's, was it Niles? Yeah, he, he doesn't look too fussed about it. He just wants to keep landing those knees. Well, he's in a good position, isn't he? He doesn't want to lose that. Uh, and that's interesting because I think I think we're going into round three with, with a round apiece now. I think well, it'd be interesting to see how the judges score. I mean, Jim, I did land some some heavy shots in both rounds. Good slick striking. Luke Niles landed some good shots of his own, and, and he's the one pressuring with the uh, with the wrestling as well. So, Colin McGregor on your debut. That's uh, that's some going. <laughs> I actually think it's a round each. I really do. I think this round, whoever wins this round, wins the fight. Um, nice combination there from Luke Nile. Oh, but he gets a hit with right a stinging cross. right hand. But again, that's through throwing that, that naked leg kick without yeah. setting it up, leaving yourself exposed to one of those straight shots. For me, if Shima can keep this fight on the feet, I think he wins this fight. Yeah, nice spinning kick there, though. He's going real, he's going real Conor McGregor esque it now. Is, it's a miniature Conor McGregor. He literally could be a Conor McGregor look-alike. <laughs> he's got, nice he's still hand. got some power though, hasn't he? Yeah, like he has, and, yeah. And every time he throws, he looked, oh, that caught him. Wow, that one. That, that gave him, he sat down, that one. That gave him something to think about. Yeah, I think I think Niles throwing the harder shots. I think Jim are just peppering. Volume, like, yeah, yeah, like you say, it's the, the volume and the, just the constant, like, oh, he 70% he to needs to watch out for that knee to the head there. That was quite close. And obviously Another that is cross. illegal in amateur mixed martial arts. That will end a fight, but not in your way. Yeah. There you go. It's that question mark kick. Yeah, that's really nice, that question mark kick. Not an easy technique to master at all. I think nice four-shot combination. This. Punch, punch, duck, weave, punch, punch. I think that's what wins in the fight. Let's see if uh, Niall can get down. I like the fact he's going for double leg now, not the single leg, because he's had no success with the single leg. He's switched to the single leg now. I don't think single leg's the right way. It hasn't worked for two rounds. Why do you think it's going to work now? Yeah, he's, uh, you can tell that he prefers to, uh, to work the single leg than the double leg. I think that's something he needs to... Obviously, his coach will go through with him, but they need to look at that. If it hasn't worked in the first two <laughs> rounds, you need to change what you're doing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> A three or four flurry uh, hook combination there for oh, Nile, again gets caught with kick. the straight with the leg kick, yeah. Something he has to be really careful of. Another uh, an upper, uppercut there that landed. Inside Niles leg kick. throws a lot, but I think he misses a lot, whereas Shima lands. Yeah. But this is real back and forth fight. I mean, both guys aren't taking a backward step. No, both guys are, are, are going to swing to the final bell by the looks of things. And they've both had moments in the fight where you could argue a case for either of them. I do think this third round is leading towards uh, Shima. Obviously, we'll find out from with what the judges think. Well, I think it's I think it's going to go the distance unless they land something crazy. He's got a lot of support behind him. Yeah, the crowd are going crazy. We've got supporters from both sides. 
either side of the cage. Yeah. Well, of course, they're both local, aren't they? We've got Redditch versus Coventry. So Absolutely, yeah. They're so both close. Redditch versus Coventry and met in Wolverhampton. So. Yeah. And yet they're both the home fighter. <laughs> Great fight. Real fun fight between the two guys there. Both yeah. guys left it all in there. Good to see them shaking hands and Especially embracing. Start, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, our judges have reached a unanimous decision. To the winner... Gallon! Shoot!